a place so many of us know but don't know all that much mm -hmm. about. Now, the plan was for it to be one of Honolulu's first suburbs. Today, few consider Kaimuki to be a suburb, more <laughs> like an extension of Honolulu. A neighborhood of Honolulu, but still, as KITV 4's Justin Fujioka explains in our latest Where You Live segment, it's a neighborhood that still has managed to keep that special identity. One look at this stretch of Waialai Avenue, and for many, this is Kaimuki. But those who live here say there's so much more to this neighborhood. Just everybody seems to watch out for each other. It's just the most wonderful small town feeling. It's just, it's hard to describe, but it's a feeling. A feeling that residents say extends Cocoa Head to around Kahala Mall, Makai to about Kilauea Avenue. Mauka to Kaimuki's business corridor of Waialai Avenue, and Eva to either 6th Avenue or Kapahulu Avenue, depending on who you talk to. I believe that people make their own boundaries of where Kaimuki starts and where it ends. Maybe it's because so many want to be a part of a population that makes this neighborhood so special, according to the young to old. There's a lot of nice people here, and good hospitality. I just think that the um, neighborhood in general is really good and the people here. They're just really friendly. They care about this place. Many people have lived here for a long time. Like Catherine Hughes, who has lived in Kaimuki all 85 years of her life. People have lived in the area for generations. It's a family neighborhood. How has this place changed? Drastically. This hill known as Pu'o Kaimuki is a prominent feature of the area and helped shape this neighborhood. There's a lot of history here. The hill behind the Kaimuki fire station was once home to a telegraph, as well as this observatory, along with a reservoir that supplied water to the dry, dusty, and developing suburb of Honolulu around the start of the 20th century. That's when people and homes, many prefabricated and shipped from the mainland, started moving in. And moving in quickly once the Waialai Avenue electric streetcar was built from Kapahulu to Cocohead Avenues in 1903. Ended right here. And uh, the roads ended at 22nd Avenue. From there on was all agriculture. But not for long. As more and more automobiles took to the roads and more suburbs were built out toward Hova'ikai, the streetcar was shut down. Still, Waialai Avenue continued to grow as a neighborhood's business district. I think that we have to try and welcome the change and make it as nice as possible. Try and design it so that it's comfortable for everyone. Something residents of Kaimuki have been doing for generations by keeping that small town feeling throughout all the growth and change. Justin Fujioka, KITV4 News. And you know, one of the debates that we have here in the newsroom is how exactly to pronounce that. Mm -hmm. I say Kaimuki, but Paula says it a little different. A little Kaimuki. The Emu, the tea leaf emu is what traditionally the Hawaiians have for that area. Don't quite know all the history of it. Yeah, but very it's interesting. It's a wonderful place. Our family's been there since 1922, so. Such a special place. place. And of course, Pamela featured the crack seed mm -hmm. guy. He's there. Great place to go. Well, we want to share, we hope that you share your memories of Kaimuki. Like us on Facebook. Leave a comment when this story shows up in your news feed.